welcome to HITC Sport and I am the Irish guy back with another edition of Football Origin Stories. This time about Arsenal. And yes, I know what you're saying. Didn't I already do this in 2018? The answer is yes, but it disappeared because DT didn't like it. Can't imagine why not. He's too old. He's a dinosaur. I cannot stand him. Is that, Veng is that Wenger? Can, can, can I get a selfie? What was so wrong about that? Do you know how long it took me to ink myself up that day? But they say that Arsenal Football Club has been an utter madhouse. But let's go back to the beginning and see whether or not that's actually true. Colo Torre was a beloved part of the Invincible Era, and the club even offered a trial to his younger brother Yaya in 2003. Not sure why he never signed. Okay, Yaya, great game today in preseason. The board and I have talked it over, and we've agreed to give you a £20,000 per week deal. We'll buy you a Lamborghini and set you up in a five star apartment overlooking the Thames. What do you think? I'm not signing anything until someone buys me a birthday cake. To be fair, he's not the only top class footballer to be invited to an Arsenal trial. Thank you for flying into Heathrow this morning. We've already got you a jersey made. We just need you to complete an hour's trial this afternoon. What do you think? Zlatan doesn't do auditions! Why would he fly all this way just to say no? Thierry Henry was the king of hybrid. And the club were often inundated with interest each and every summer. But I don't think any board members were ready to consider selling. Alright, so we just received a £50 million bid from Chelsea for Thierry Henry. Wow, why would we sell the second most skillful player at the club right now? Wait, what, what do you mean? What do you mean second most skillful? Well, obviously Jeremy Lynch. Oh, that's right, of course, silly me. Arsenal versus Manchester United was always a fierce rivalry. I think we've actually got exclusive footage of a famous tunnel bust up. Hey Fergie, here's some pepperoni, bitch. Arsenal's historic unbeaten run ended at game 49 at Old Trafford, but it was unrealistic to expect it wouldn't. I mean, who is actually able to go 50 matches unbeaten? The... the... cat... cat... when she... I, I can't do this, it's too hard! But it's a children's book. Under Arsene Wenger, Arsenal soon became known as the top four club, which all began when they managed to sneak past Tottenham into fourth on the last day of the 0506 season. I'm sure they had a helping hand from somewhere. Here's your lasagna, boys. Hey, aren't you the guy from Arsenal Fan TV? Just eat your food. But mine's got a tampon in it. And mine's just cat food. F***ing eat it. The club have always placed a reliance on youth. Although it's fair to say one or two have managed to slip through the cracks. Well, I was thinking for next season, maybe we could promote from within. I've heard a lot about this young kid here in the academy. He's supposed to be scoring a lot of goals. <laughs> what, him? He's just a fat toddler. Bin him back to Ridgeway Rovers. Oh, okay. What have you got in mind? No, don't worry, mate. I've got an ace up our sleeve. Hey, I'm so pleased to announce the signing of Theo Walker from Southampton. Thank you, Arson. I'm so happy to sign for Arsenal. It's a dream come true to be here. How old are you? 16. 16, you say? Got any fit mates? Hey, go home, Adam. 2006 was a case of out with the old, in with the new. With legendary icon Dennis Burkamp finally hanging up his boots. But let's not pretend he didn't have his flaws. They say a true champion looks into the eyes of its worst fears. I'm pretty sure this is how the Arsenal fans used to prepare for trips to Stoke. <laughs> Arsenal won the race for Russian star Andrei Arshavit. Although he failed to live up to his Euro 2008 performances. To be fair, he wouldn't be the last one summer wonder. The rise of teenage midfield star Jack Wiltshire was an exciting one. Although Pep Guardiola was never entirely convinced. Hi Pep, Fred here from the Daily West Telegraph. Uh, tell me, have you seen Jack Wiltshire? Is he the best player you've ever faced ever? Uh, no, he's okay, but we have better players on our B team. No Pep, stop lying to yourself. You killed Hammer English Jack. No, honestly, I'm telling you, we've got Thiago Alcantara. No, no, no Pep, you don't understand. He's going to win the next five Ballon d'Ors. Rafinha, Sergio Roberto, Christian Teo. He's the London version of Messi. You'll see, give it five years. Oh, someone 
please give me a contract? <coughs> Arsenal fans have always had resentment towards UEFA officials. But to be fair, they're not the only ones to have held grudges against Champions League referees. Percy oh, is off. Dear, oh dear. It's a second yellow card for Robbie Van Persie for kicking the ball away. So another twist to the drama. How is that a red card? What? Hey! It's a disgrace! It's a disgrace! It's a f***ing disgrace! It's a disgrace! It's a disgrace! Go home, Drogba. By the way, I was trying to have these subscribers as soon as possible. I am agonizingly close. Just put me out of my misery. I'm like that donkey that needs to get shot in the face. If you enjoy the content and you want to see more videos like this, then let me know by smashing that big fat red button. Anyway, back into the video. For a while, Arsenal had a nasty habit of crumbling on the road against top four rivals. But one particularly damaging defeat drove the fans to the brink of depression. Oh hey, how was the game at Old Trafford? Don't want to talk about it. Where's my Kit Kats? What, what happened to my Kit Kats? Oh yeah, sorry, I only ate two. What did you say? Well, I, I only ate two. fans were floored by talisman Robin Van Persie's decision to quit the club for Manchester United and angered the fans with a certain choice of words at the time. So Robin, what swayed you for making the big move from Arsenal to Old Trafford? Yeah, I always listened to the little boy inside me and he was screaming for Manchester United. Huh, that's weird. My little boy usually screams for his parents. Who let this guy into my press conference? The club needed to replace Van Persie's goals and were busy in the transfer market. Although most Arsenal fans were a bit underwhelmed by the summer arrivals. Yeah! We've just signed Olivier Giroud! Who? Uh -huh. And Lucas Podolski from Cologne for 12 million pounds! Who or what is Cologne? Why, you've you've never heard of Cologne? No. Makes sense. Arsenal fans always love cup competitions, but it's fair to say about 10 years ago, they definitely lost their fear factor. Hello and welcome back to the League Cup quarterfinal draw. And now we'll have Arsenal playing. Give us anyone, anyone in the draw. We'll take anyone. We're the Arsenal. We have nothing to fear. Bradford City. Oh sh**. The club approached almost a decade without a league title in 2013, slumping to fourth in the league. You would think that a state of depression would immediately grip the club. You finished fourth! Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. The fans spent the summer of 2013 crying out for superstar signings and also tried to oblige with some weird negotiation tactics for Luis Suarez. Now, we know your hardball stance of whether or not to sell Luis Suarez, but don't worry, I think, I think this might change your mind. 40 million pounds in cash. Uh, no, sorry, we only accept offers over 40 million. Okay, say no more. I'm confused. Go on, go buy yourself a couple of Freddos. Get out of my office! What were they smoking over there at the Emirates? Bags of glue? Says Fabregas is a world-class player for the club, who was sold to Barcelona, but in 2013, the man was made available for transfer, put up for sale, and was ready for a return to North London. Arsene! 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 Hello? Arsene, I'm back! Please, take me back, Arsene! Oh, 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 Cesc, I, I wish you'd called. Ya gunas ya! Well, I guess it's off to Chelsea. Arsenal fans have always had contentious issues with referees. Although, to be fair, with some questioning, what exactly goes on at official training? And I welcome to day one of referee training this summer. Hopefully, you'll all leave ready for the new season as experienced international refs. Great, can't wait. Great, let's get started then. Okay, one more time. This is Alex Oxley chamberlain and this is Kieran Gibbs. Nope, still don't get it. Oh, come on! Aaron Ramsey was a cup final specialist, developing into a top class player with some important goals at the Emirates. Not everyone was so thrilled. 
Oh no! Don't say Ramsey scored again! <laughs> Chelsea legend Petr Cech joined the club in 2014. Although Arsenal fans were never truly comfortable with where his allegiances lay. Come in, Agent Cech. Are you preparing for covert mission four undercover? What, you mean the Europa League final? Yeah, the, the, the Europa League. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. They don't suspect a thing. <laughs> the club's unpredictable mid-season transfer policy has always been one to catch the excitable fans off guard. Uh, no more so than in January 2014. Hello? Hey Matt, listen, H have you heard the big news yet? No, what? Uh, be prepared, this is going to break the internet. What? Okay, Kim K is coming to London. Kim K? That must mean Kanye is coming too. God, I love Kanye West. Let's go get some Yeezys. This must mean he's performing live at Wembley. Let's go get some tickets, quick. What? No, it's, uh, no, it's just Kim Kalstrom on a free. Oh. In the middle of a heated title race, Arsenal stole a late win over Leicester in February 2016. I, I think the fans might have overreacted. Can you believe it? And now another moment for Arsenal, and the man who's been absent for the That guy welled! That guy welled! Yes! Yes! We're gonna win the league! We're going to win the league! Premier League champion Angola Kante was available for a cup price 30 million quid in 2016. So obviously they spent the same amount on Granite Xhaka. A man who's never been good at taking criticism from the fans. Hi Granite, I'm an Arsenal fan and I have some constructive criticism. Maybe you should release the ball quicker. Don't you tell me how to live my life! Spanish right back Hector Bellerin has spent nearly a decade at the club. Although his relationship with his own fan base has been spotty to say the least. I think I think it's so wrong for someone who claims to be a fan and their success is fed up of our failure. How can that be a fan? I think I think they're so wrong. Oi, what are you saying about Arsenal fan TV? I no, I, I wasn't saying anything, mate. Robbie, where's my gun? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was a blockbuster £60 million signing from Borussia Dortmund with Arsenal determined not to let anything affect his form. Okay Pierre, these are very simple routine guidelines. Number one, don't eat fatty foods. Okay. Uh, number two, don't be seen leaving nightclubs past 1am. Sure. Okay great, but now unequivocally the most important rule. Avoid this man at all costs! The club was forced to sell one of their contract rebels that window. Although I'm convinced there must have been a mix up in the Old Trafford boardroom. <sighs> the absolute piece of junk car. I wouldn't start on the way to work this morning. I need, I need to get a new one. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm getting another call. Can I put you on hold? I'm getting another call from work. Hello? Hello, Jose. Just Eddie here. Ed Woodward. Yeah, great. Uh, listen, I've got you in the Seeker Santa. Just wondering, what do you want for Christmas, mate? Well, it's funny you ask it. I'm just saying, I, I need an upgrade. I'd really love a Lexus. I think that could be arranged. Where's my f***ing car? Arsenal fans spent a decade talking up club captain Lauren Kishelny as a world-class centre half. They, um, they, they probably don't think too fondly of him now. PSG boss Unai Emery turned up as Arsene Wenger's replacement. Although to be fair, the Spaniard was very quickly known for just one thing. Hello and welcome to the Arsenal press conference. Come on Unai, say the line. <sighs> Good evening. <laughs> oh, can't wait to put this on the front page tomorrow morning. <sighs> Emery did steer Arsenal to the Europa League final in Baku. Although to be fair, they were probably right to leave one of their star men stuck at home. Hi, Enric, um... Maybe you should sit this one out, buddy. The club's transfer policy has always bordered on the ridiculous in recent years. I'm convinced there must be massive amounts of confusion at boardroom level. Hey man, remember we spent all summer trying to sign Suarez? What, the 40 million plus one pound bid? Don't remind me. Well, check the website. We finally done- We have finally done it, Chief! What, really? Who the hell is Dennis? 
I is that not the right one? Former player Mikel Arteta was finally appointed as manager in 2019 with fans gushing over his incredible, mind-blowing and tactical input that he had while as a coach at Manchester City, right? Just roll the damn clips. Hey, Phil, Phil. All right, here's the bib. You're on team B. The global impact has had a damaging effect on footballing finances. With Arsenal having to make some sad but necessary cutbacks to staff. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate all your efforts, but as you could probably realise, don't have enough fans to keep you on. So, I'm sorry. We're going to have to let you go, Gunnarsaurus. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry again, but I think I saw Tesco were hiring outside. So, all the best. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi, William. Sorry to put you on hold. So as I was saying, do you want 200k a week? Oh, all this furloughing really makes me sweaty. Oh, it's better. Hey, hey, gonna source. Hey, take some money, man. Hey, hey, feed your kids, buy some food. Hey, get some dog food for your dog. I mean, it's not like anyone else is gonna f***ing pay you. And finally, Arteta has been involved in freezing out players from his squad, which is weird because there's so much quality footage of William Saliba on YouTube. Probably best not to check out the other websites though. Oh, 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 amazing. Hey man, well, um, what, what are you looking at? Oh no, I'm just checking out our new defender, William Saliba. Check this video out, it's absolutely incredible. All right, let's see. Yeah, what do you think? Told you it's good, right? <laughs> Does, let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video. Actually, let me know what football origins kit you want to see next. Let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, I'll talk to you in a while.